But now let's get into the big pie of anime things. One of my favorite directors is Makoto Shinkai and I really like his movies. Five centimeters per second is one of my favorite movies of all time. And this is A Sky Longing for Memories, which is just a compilation art book of multiple of his movies and just look at his artwork. I mean, I could flip through these for ages and never get tired of the stuff you see. They give you little explanations of what techniques they used to create these pictures as well. If you get one art book from the anime pile here, I would say get this one. A Sky Longing for Memories. And I got the visual guide for Your Name. Your Name was good as well. I didn't like it as much as 5 centimeters per second, but you get a few stills from the movie. This one isn't really an art book per se. It's, yeah, like it says, like a visual guide that guides you through the movie. It gives you a bit of behind the scenes information, concept drawings for the environments movie. One of my favorite books of all time. I like to read this over and over and over again. It's uh, based on my favorite director of all time, and that's Wolf Bakshi, and this is Unfiltered. It's a complete history of Wolf Bakshi's beginnings, early movies, his life in movie production, concept artwork of all of his movies. One exception is Lord of the Rings. I, I think they didn't get the the rights for using pictures from Lord of the Rings, but the history to told in here, it's not just an art book, it's complete description and history of the production of all of these movies, their relevance, all of that. It's hard to get right now. A few years ago, you could still get this brand new for like 12 euros. One of my favorite animes is The An Angel. I have two art books. One is Neutral, which is an art book, not just about the Angel, but a lot of the manga series that Yukiro Zubizaki produced. What I like even more, this one is Feder. This one only came out in Japan. And this is an art book based entirely on DNA Angel. This one has like all the promotional artwork produced for the show, for the manga, for products. And I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I like to flip through this. This one is just great. Great artwork all the way through. If you like the style, of course, it's not for everyone. Great stuff. Feder. It's kind of rare, but not too expensive if, if you want to get it. Disney. The Art of Frozen. I don't have a lot of Disney stuff, but I like when they open their vaults. It shows you what a beautiful movie this could have been if it had been hand-drawn. Here we have some storyboards. Great stuff. Definitely worth a look if you like the movie. Not really for you if the movie wasn't your thing. I've had these three for years. Even though I've, I had not seen the TV show. And finally, last year when the show came to Netflix, I gave it a watch, loved it, and I finally could open these books and take a look. This is the Groundworks of Evangelion, volume 1, 2, and, one, two and 3. What I like about these is uh, they're not just art books. They are beautiful prints of the animation. It's beautiful. These pencil sketches, these animations, all of that. You can still see like the timing on there and all of that. A big recommendation for everyone who loves this TV show. These art books are amazing. Groundwork, Groundworks of Evangelion. They all cover a certain number of episodes. If you love the TV show, I think these are pretty cheap to get now. Give it a go. One of my favorite art books as well. And here we have the art of Nausicaa, of the Valley of the Wind. Miyazaki, great idol of mine when it comes to, to work and I'm a huge fan of his watercolors. 80s Miyazaki watercolors. I could look at these for hours as well. And there's some great behind the scenes stuff in here from the concept stages of 
when Nausicaa was supposed to be a boy. Here some concept art of when Nausicaa was supposed to be a male main character. Do you have any great art books you want to recommend? I have a handful that are uh, either Japan exclusive and have to import them or that are really expensive. One of the ones I want to get is there was like a visual guidebook to Belladonna of Sadness, which I thought about getting and then was out of print and got exceedingly expensive and I don't think I'll ever get that any point in time. But thank you for watching. I hope I see you in the next video.